Hey there YouTube, Steve here again, and this is my third video episode, video every day in October, where this time you're, uh, you're looking at um, a phone right now, this is my iPhone 5S. Yeah, this is a phone that I have, and I figure I would show you all my apps that I have on my phone. These are pretty much all the ones that I have, but I do have more, you know, like in the App Store that I've downloaded and stuff, but they're not on my phone, as I had to delete some of them, because... Had like 16 gigabytes. That's how many gigabytes this phone is. It's also with a Sprint as well, just to say it um, as well. Now, of course, your things that you got you've got the uh, message thing, you got your photos, camera, video, notes, like if you want to make notes and stuff. And of course, Siri, you just press the button. Hi, Siri. Greetings, Steve. Yeah, she calls me Steve or Steven, anything like that. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. That's good. But that's just like if you have like any problems or anything like that. Like if you need uh, directions somewhere or anything you need her to need her answer for you, anything like that. Yeah. Or you can fool around with her and say like stupid questions or anything, but that's just basically something else. And you also got, like, the phone, like, to make calls and stuff. And if you see a crack on there, yes, I do have a crack on my phone. Unfortunately, I've dropped it a few times. I do have an otter box on this thing, as you see. And I'll put it into the light. There it is. I do have a waterproof case as well for this, which is over here. Well, this is a, a part of it. It's right here. Just, like, put it on your phone. You can, like, take it into the water or so it doesn't get wet or anything. The other parts are somewhere else I just don't really have. But anyway, let's move on to the rest of the stuff that I have. Now, the App Store as well. If you have, like, an Apple account and stuff, you got to make your account. And, of course, over here now, here are the uh, apps as well. Now, you have your utilities here, like, for your contacts, your calculator, your compass, and your voice memos. And you got, I have a flashlight on here, like in case if it's dark outside or anything, or if the electricity goes out and just turns it on, just like that. Just press it back, or you make it, make it as bright, or as brighter as you want. It has a podcast thing here, but I just, I just did update it to the iOS 8 thing, or whatever it is. And you got, I got my emails and stuff, like to my AOL address. I've got Gmail, like for my, because I do have a Gmail address as well, and I have Google Maps, in case I need directions somewhere or anything like that, or if we go on trips or anything and need directions. We do have a GPS, but I just use this like in case. And we got Sports Center, because you know I like sports and stuff. Like just like click on that, and it gives me like all my sports. And there's a bigger shot of the crack in my phone. Sorry about that. It gives me like all my sports, like. Uh, the Washington Wizards and the Bulls and the Lakers taking on the Nuggets. The Orioles face the Royals on Friday in the ALCS. Yep. And we got Song Pop, which is a Facebook game and stuff where you can like play games like like guess songs pretty much. It's pretty fun. And I got the Facebook Messenger, like if anybody messages me on Facebook. And I got Google as well. Got Facebook. Got the YouTube capture, like if I want to make videos with my phone, I just use the YouTube capture. Got the uh, weather channel, like to check the weather or anything. Got Heads Up, Ellen DeGeneres' uh, game, which is good. I think it was $1.99 to buy, but it's worth it because it's a fun game. And I got Skype, hang out with my friends and stuff, or if I'm not available on the computer. Got Instagram, if you want to follow me on Instagram, follow me at SteveK1987, that is my Instagram. You know, it's Mm -hmm. And I got tips and stuff, and then here's a thing here. This is Time Hop. This is a thing that like lets you um, like talk with people, you know, or like well, not talk with people. I'm sorry. What am I saying? Uh, it's a thing that like shows you Facebook stuff that you made like from three years ago, or two years ago, or four years ago, anything like that. It's pretty cool. And you see the numbers popping up. I just I gotta check my emails and stuff, and gotta delete them, and song pop I gotta get back to, and I just got a message on Facebook, well, a notification, I mean. And I got bit strips, which is a cartoon thing on Facebook, I like to make a little cartoon of yourself. Some of them can be funny and stuff, but some of them can be, uh, like, gay or not funny sometimes. 
And that's basically it. Now let's go to the App Store and I'll show you some more that I had on my on my phone before I deleted them. Like here's the purchases that I made. Now a lot of these were free and some of them were not. Uh, here we got Criminal Case, which is now available on the iOS, iPhone, or Android, I think, or anything else. Got Daily Celebrity and Crossword. That's just a game. I tried it out and it pretty much sucked. And you have The Chase, the official GSN game show. It's not bad, though. We got ESPN uh, Fantasy Football. I am in a league, though, but I'm not doing so well. But I should get it back. That's because I've been doing bad in the games. been playing. Yeah. It's just uh, pretty tough. And I got the WBAL TV 11 News, which is a newscast here in Baltimore for breaking news and stuff. And I've got Guess the 90s, another game. Guess the movie, pop quiz, trivia guessing game, just a thing I tried out. Hold on, i got to go to the ones that are not on my phone. Okay, uh, wait a sec. Yeah, I guess the 90s got... I uh, guess the MLG or whatever it is, it's just a game, I think. Got Yahoo Mail, because I do have a Yahoo name as well. And I've got Flipagram, like to go with Instagram, like to make a little music video, but it has to be like 15 minutes, seconds, excuse me, not minutes. Got Sports Jeopardy, new game that they did with Dan Patrick as host. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty good. It really is. I think it's a... Uh, Pretty fun to play. Um, I do like sports and stuff, and I should play it more often. Then we've got uh, a little thing for Craigslist, just a little thing. I mean, it's not really that much, just a so-so. Got Skype Wi-Fi, this one I downloaded. Got the NFL Mobile. I don't really use it because I use uh, Sports Center pretty much more than uh, than that. Then I got no, that's yeah, Atomic Fart Free. It's just an, a fart app, you know, because. A lot of people, I, I go around fart a lot, and I just, yeah, I know it's gross and stuff with some people, but yeah. I got Movie Pop, which is uh, different than Song Pop. Song Pop is where you guess music and stuff, and this is where you guess movies. And we got Hangouts, Google Plus Hangouts, like, if I want to join like a Google Plus Hangout on my phone, but we just use Skype pretty much, my friends and stuff. And we got Candy Crush. The Candy Crush Saga game. I pretty much play it on the computer because it goes faster. And then I've got uh, free birthday cards. Like if anybody sends you like a birthday card and stuff for this app. That's just really it. And we got Google Plus. Just uh, like the thing with the Hangouts and stuff. I had to download it from my phone. I don't have it anymore. And we got Pizza Hut. Uh, you know, the, the restaurant chain as I do like pizza. Pizza Hut's got some pretty good pizzas. Yeah, but I don't really get them that much anymore. And I got the NASCAR mobile app, like, for our NASCAR race and updates. Like, if there's a caution or a red flag or a rain delay or anything like that or anything, basically, in a NASCAR race. And I pretty much delete it because the season's almost over. It'll be over in November. Then it will start up again in uh, February. If I had more gigabytes on this phone, like, if I had 64 or whatever, 30-something, I probably would have it back. Because I had to delete some of my music on here as well to keep these apps. But yeah. Then I have the MLB.com at, at Bat app. I didn't really use it this much as I just use, again, Sports Center. And I get text messages from the Orioles. Like if they do anything good. And I got the Yahoo Messenger thing. I just downloaded this if somebody wanted to talk with me. But I pretty much didn't know how to use it. So I just deleted it. Got the Prices Right Decades app. I do have the Prices Right Decades for the Wii, as you know. I did it for Xbox 360, and I figured I'd try it on my phone. And pretty much it was just okay, you know. The Walking Dead, Dead Yourself, like to make yourself look like a zombie. Pretty much that was nothing, you know. Yeah, it was just like make yourself look freaky and all that stuff, but it was nothing. Then got the Amazon Instant Video app. Like, if you have an account to Amazon, you can watch videos on there on the Amazon Instant Video app. Like, uh, movies uh, from any year or so. You'd have to buy them, though, or you can rent them. Anything like that. Then got the Amazon app. Like, to go on Amazon, look for some stuff, as that's pretty much what I do sometimes. Or just use eBay. And I got Jeopardy. I pretty much deleted it because I'm not good with that, with general knowledge. I got Google Earth, 
But that's something I download just to try out. Fart for free, another fart app. I don't know why. I got Cam Wow, a thing for your phone lets you make your camera look different or anything, like in your pictures, like a 3D dimension, anything like that. Got the Baltimore Ravens mobile app, like updates from the Baltimore Ravens, but I deleted it because I got Sports Center. I got Spotify, but I got rid of that because I was pretty much going to put my music on my phone, but I had to delete um, some of them just because of all the, you know, the time that it was and space was taken up. Unfortunately, I got over a thousand songs. I really do. And I got uh, Pandora, which I downloaded just to try out because my mom uses it. But I just said it's not as good as Spotify, in my opinion. And I got eBay. I have an account with both eBay and Amazon. But I prefer eBay more because they show you pictures of the stuff before you buy it. Amazon does that as well. But eBay, you know, it's been around, I think it's been around longer than Amazon. I, I may be wrong, I don't know. But eBay just like shows you pictures of stuff. You know, to show you if they're real or not. Yeah. Then I got uh, Google Chrome, something I use like if I go on the web as well. Uh, just, you know, not really that much. Just, uh, yeah. Got Google Translate, like to translate language or anything like that. I'm not learning Spanish or anything or French. Just uh, something I was just trying out just to be funny with my friends, like speaking a different language or anything. And I got the Family Feud and Friends thing. Just something I played for a little bit. I played Family Feud on Facebook as well. But it's just something, uh, that's just really it. That's a pretty good game. And we got the WWE app. I had this for just a little bit, but then when it got updated to the iOS 8 thing or whatever, I had to delete it just because it was taking up too much space. Yeah. And I've got the Watch ESPN app, but I pretty much got rid of this just because it was too complicated to use. But I have Sports Center, as you know, again. I've got the YouTube app. I deleted that because I just use it on Google. I just Google it and just use it that way. Uh, find my phone, like if your phone is missing or whatever, but I don't really have that. Find my friends, like friends that have the iPhone, and you can like figure out like where they are. iTunes U and Grand Ole Opry. But yeah, that's um, it But me. I know it may be an unusual video or whatever, but this is just something I decided to do. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that is, that's it. That is my iPhone 5 apps. Hold on a sec. And the rest as well. And that's it. So that's it for this video. This, yeah, the video number three, my iPhone apps. And today's question for this is... If you have an iPhone, if you have an iPhone 5 or 4 or whatever one, what is your favorite app? And that's it for this. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And I'll see you all with more videos.